Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Scottish campaign with Philly Robot. How's it going? Doing well. Okay, we'll go down to speed two so you can, uh, you know, break off a troop and go kill some dudes and all that stuff. Okay. We noticed that there's another fort in Lubick that is mothballed. However, we can't actually get there in time without having, like, probably four or five maneuver. We miss Wallace the Girthy, basically. Yeah. But still, so you can... Uh, carpet sieging right now? I, I didn't see any... Uh... There was like a 10 stack in mid Jilland, his capital. Okay. I would uh, I would detach a single infantry for Lolland and Finn. In fact, Finn. those two little islands that you're going to cross over. Okay. Oh, I see Lolland. Okay. And let's go ahead then and do that. So one of these. Right there. And... But then the rest, these. you're going to have to worry about... Pomerania and Denmark's armies merging together, and then they'll have a fairly sizable... You're going to control the navy to not let them cross? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to keep them right where they're at, basically. Blockade that straight for now. See if I can pick off the, the Pomeranian fleet. I assume you up maintenance. So we didn't do that. I didn't do that anyways. Army maintenance was yeah. high from fighting pretender rebels. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's do this. Got to keep our navy right where it is just to guarantee that that army can get into Skane. Very important yeah. we take that fort for free. That is the war goal, right? Uh, Skane, yeah. Nice. Good. Okay. Oh, I just found an army. We're yeah. going to have a fight, it says. Let's see if that's actually true. 162. Yep, we got better maneuver, so no straight crossing penalty. Good. He's got a 3-2. Oh, right. I should watch that. Okay. He's got a 3-2 general versus your 1-6. You're going to mop the floor with him. We also have our cavalry combat ability. You'll recall that the... Uh, the cavalry combat ability, infantry combat ability, and artillery combat ability is like a hidden modifier. You've got to hover over the armies to see if they have those modifiers. So now when you hover over the little divide by symbol, the little dash for the cav, you'll see yeah. cavalry combat ability plus 5%. Yeah. It'd be nice if there was like a separate interface that just said like, you know, 12,874 infantry and then plus 0% <laughs> to indicate that there was no bonus, but... Okay, we're rolling really shitty. It didn't seem to matter that much. Yeah, you stack wipe them anyway. Stack wipe them anyways. Yeah, we stack wipe them with two poor rolls, huh? And so it's just the damage done. All right, so this is. Hold on, can I have a pause for? Yeah, I can pause yep. again. I suppose. So I'm just looking around. Um, have you seen any other stacks of units besides this 11k that's trying to? That I saw. Stack? I saw an army in Pomerania, 10 stack, and I'm confident that Norway will have at least a five or six stack, probably hitting sitting in Akershus. Let's check to see how his Liberty Desire is. He's at 36.3% Liberty Desire, so he is going to help out his Overlord. So yeah. Just be aware that okay. there is going to be a Norwegian stack. Oh, However... There's, oh, there's Sweden stack. Okay. I, I guess I wanted, I wanted to split up some troops and uh, go siege these provinces. I think you can. The thing is, even though Norway wants to help, Denmark and Sweden hate each other, and Sweden's not going to give military access, and we didn't ask for military access. Therefore, Denmark and Norway don't have military access, which means that Norway can't get to us. His army doesn't matter. So you can carpet siege all that stuff, but keep the majority of your army in the southern area. The sooner you can well, I was, get... I was um, going to siege down this fort, I thought, right? Yeah, but the sooner you can get down to Lubick, the better, because it's got, like, almost no garrison, and you don't want to let the garrison recover. We just killed all of Pomerania's light fleet, by the way. Good. Uh, where's my big stack right there? Yep, and that uh, is a level 9 fort. Requires 9 troops. Yeah, you're not going to be able to carpet siege everything, but you can block Denmark from training troops. Oh, what's this fucking zone of control shit? Look at that. Look at the... I don't want to do that. No. I could just leave one here, I suppose. Okay. And then the big army, then we'll go to... Uh, Holstein. Okay. And I guess that means I'm not... I guess I could siege from there in a minute, though. Sounds good. All right. So I'm not sieging the fort, I'm just I'm leaving 1k there. So why is your navy why is your army going through the uh the ships to get to Holston? Uh I'm not no actually. So I'm looking I guess I haven't So Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, it's the zone of control stuff. Yeah. Okay, in Which that we case don't, uh I don't understand still. Yeah, in that case I would just keep if it's not gonna let you get to Slevsig because of the, the fort in Midgilland, then start the siege of Midgilland. Okay. Fine with that. Yeah, and you'd probably want to leave behind, like, 9 infantry plus the 1 cannon. And does our guy have siege value? No. No. So I'd pull him off so he doesn't risk his 
being in charge of a siege increases your chance of death. So. Okay, so what I want to do then is move. Ah, oh man, this interface. Okay. <laughs> so, need nine. Yeah, Not you... the horses. I don't know if I'm going to have nine. If you don't keep horses, then as many as you need to, to get up to the threshold, but... Ten. Uh, and I can see the total troops just by adding, so I'm at 82, so I do need one horses. There you go, okay, that's good. 92. Yep, okay. and pull the other cab back to a friendly province just so we're not suffering attrition. Or, yeah, that'd be good. Okay, so then I want this 3k army to go to there. This is not friendly. Occupied is not friendly, right? Uh, it doesn't matter, actually, because that fort will fall soon. So yeah, you'll want them to be looting. We just don't want okay. them suffering attrition for a uh, year on that siege. Okay, good to go. Yep, go. Hey. No reason to keep the Navy here. State modifier. Uh, Chancellor reports the state modifier expired. The Burgers state modifier has expired. The influence is now 46%. Okay, so we can do something now, potentially the burgers again. Uh, they're still disloyal, though. It's ticking yeah. up. We could grant, grant them monopoly charters to make them loyal. We could use the we trade efficiency. Skill 3, Master of the Mint. Skill 3? Yeah, it's going to be expensive, but he's level 3 advisor. That's amazing. And what does he do? The Master of the Mint does what now? Uh, that is the inflation reduction. 0.1 per and, year. But he, he's the admin? Yep. He or... would he would cost us uh, looks like about five five ducats a month though, but that that'd be pretty good. I think I want that. Okay. I like advisors. But if you're gonna do that, you want to probably make them loyal. Why? By recruiting the minister increases increase their loyalty. Increases influence, no. but not loyalty. Influence. Well, why do I care about making them loyal? Aren't they gonna recover to be loyal soon, anyways? Yeah, they will. In uh, looks like nineteen months. So for the next 19 okay. months, you're going to take a trade efficiency penalty of... Uh, if you if you recruit that minister, you're going to increase their influence, and then you're going to have a trade efficiency penalty of 10%, instead of a trade bonus of 20%. So we're talking about a 30% swing in trade efficiency, and a lot of our income yes, comes from trade. Does, how, how does recruiting the minister have anything to do with the trade efficiency penalty? We already have a trade efficiency penalty with the burgers. Uh, the reason it does is because right now, our influence is at 46%. If you recruit that minister, you're raising their influence to 60%. The break point is 60 it goes for influence if they're loyal and they have it and they have 60 influence then we get bonuses or if they're disloyal then the penalty you get is dependent upon the amount of influence that they have got it didn't understand that okay yeah. so we do want to fix that so we just need to give the burgers something for their loyalty we need to give them another province then either a province or you could just click the grant monopoly charters button yeah i was looking at that but i don't really want to fuck around with that too much i didn't think so let me go look at that again so I don't have that open again. Okay, it's a Burgers, Grant Monopoly Charter. We lose five prestige. We have a lot of prestige again, and we're at war, so we'll gain some more prestige back. And they gain 15 loyalty, but it gives them 10 influence. Are they going to be at a dangerous point, though? No, they're not. But yes, I understand that it's not an immediate <laughs> problem, but there are problems that come along with this. Why don't we just give them another uh, province? <laughs> okay, which one? Isn't it cheaper? Which one? Oh, is that the problem? Okay. I don't know. Is there one you can find that makes sense to give them? Uh, what color? Green is ungiven, right? Yes. And the 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 it's twenty five percent if we give them one, right? So we own Orkney. This Orkney. Will, if I click on burger, this is what do we need? We need we only need damn it's one point two and we need two. No, that's influence. What is the loyalty? So decrease their loyalty. Decrease. Oh, we'd have to revoke it from fucking nobility, I see. Uh, can't <laughs> give me any of these. It's tricky. <laughs> well, I'm looking around. I'm looking, I'm looking around. We don't seem to have okay. a lot over here. Okay. It's been given to somebody. We'd have to revoke so the greens. Cause, okay, so I'm just being to be clear, the you could the afford zero percent right now is the autonomy level at the bottom, right? Yes. And if we give it to a, a, a special interest group like this, it's going to raise it to 25%, right? Yes. Because that's the minimum you can have when you give it to somebody else. So we really would we'd like someone with a higher autonomy Yep. and give it to them. And the only one, and everything is already given with higher autonomy to somebody else. Yes. Okay. The, the only one that I'm seeing that might make sense would be uh, to give them 
I think we could afford to give him Kildare or Northumberland. We'd have to revoke it from the clergy, which we can do without pissing them off. Uh, well, actually, Northumberland would give them too little land. They need to have 15%, and right now they have 18.6. So you could you could revoke Kildare from the clergy and then give that to the burghers if you really don't want to click that button. Well, I think the reason why I didn't want to click that button is there's a couple things we wanted from the burghers, right? I thought we might want draft ships for... I guess that doesn't give them influence when you draft ships, huh? No, it just pisses them off, takes away their loyalty. And asking for contribution doesn't give them influence either. All right, fine. Okay, <laughs> we're granting monopoly charters because it's easier. Okay. And then we're demanding a minister. Give me your minister. Okay. okay. Now you have to actually hire him if you want him, though. I do want to hire him. I'm okay. doing that right now. So yes, I go over uh, to the treasurer, I click on his portrait, and then I click on this guy as level three. Yep. 5.83 ducats a month. He and, charges uh, us for level two costs, I guess. Yep. Okay. And I click on him, recruit advisor. Mm-hmm. Okay, I pay him 46 ducats. You asshole. All right. And now we're and losing money every month. No, it's good. That's perfect. <laughs> so what, that was the goal. Loot more, bro. Okay. I, I pulled your calf off because you didn't need him after reinforcing. But beyond that, okay. um, I'm just moving the navy over to uh, to help facilitate the blockade of your new siege. Okay. Good. We're still just doing the one cannon, right? I think we just have the value cannon still. Yeah. Have, we, have, this... have we named it yet? We can name individual regiments? Yes, and you must. It's a requirement. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to select select the army that's in mid Yeah. And then scroll down that big, huge list. You'll see the okay. cannon at the bottom, Lancashire's 5th Regiment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change it for us. The cannon's new name is Big Bertha. Uh, I spelled it wrong. Big Bertha. Done. Okay. Because I don't know why, I always name my first cannon Big Bertha. I just do. It hasn't updated for me yet. I guess you have to unpause. Uh, it might be that you have to actually select the army again. I just see Lancaster, Lancashire ah, 5th Regiment. It didn't save. I don't you, think, need to, uh, you need to let go. You need to let go. Stop looking at it. <laughs> Alright, I've stopped looking at it. Okay. Let's uh, let a day pass and see if it's still Big Bertha. Yeah, now go look at it. It should be, should be Big Bertha now. Okay. It's an exciting accomplishment. Good work. Yeah. Are you going to start naming all of the provinces? Or all of, all of the regiments yeah. individually? Yeah. Nice. And can you name each individual... Uh, regiment member? Uh, <laughs> no, but you could try. I mean, if you could think of that many names, there's a thousand men in each army, you know. Mm -hmm. You're consolidating my forces? Yep. You could keep them spread out for looting, but uh, we know that Pomerania does have an army, and if they are going to fight us, they're going to try to reinforce and try to take back mid -Gillen, so... I'm just helping you out, just keeping that army together so that if you need it, it'll be yeah. next to itself. I'm gonna... I can't help it, I'm sorry. ...that you wanted over to Finn. I, I just can't help Tinker with armies. Of, oh, we can't get to that. We can't reinforce there, unfortunately. Okay. Right. Can I just group them now? No reason not to, right? Okay. Let's see. I, uh, I, uh... Admirals are concerned. Um, Play a little bit greedy right now. I'm going to take our navy and I'm going to tell it to go protect trade. Because I don't think we even need it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I see a 9.3k stack coming up. Okay, so we have a pop-up. Uh, we can give... Uh, Scotland gets the land focus, which gives us military tech cost minus 10% for wow. the next 10 years. Or we can get let us do something, in which case we get heavy ship cost minus 10%, light ship cost minus 10%, and galley cost minus 10%. We get increased navy until 24th for another 10 years. So 10 years of either tech cost, which is using military power, which is probably very valuable to us, or... Uh, the heavy ship cost. So does that tech cost reduction, is that just, that's when we purchase the next tech? Mm -hmm. It's going to be 10% off, but it's yeah. only 10% off for the next 10 years. Yeah, so you got to ask yourself, do you think you're going to take another military no, tech? No, I think I'm going to take idea groups. Yeah, so then the decision is pretty straightforward. There is no advantage to that. Done. Just delete it from your mind. It's yeah. a shame that that event fired after we took the tech, because we could have yes. just saved 60, 60 military points. Yep. So Norway just sieged down Bergenschuss. It's unsurprising. But uh, Denmark is at 19 war enthusiasm. They are not very happy right now. Good. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm watching the siege. Oh, another pop-up. Triumph of the clergy. <laughs> you just get so many estate events, don't you? Mm. Well, I can either lose one stability. Ouch. 
sounds fucking terrible, and lose 20 uh, clergy estate loyalty, and they lose 10 influence, which would be nice. Uh, but Or I can just take a 15% stability cost modifier. Oh, that I'm sounds, gonna take. sounds oh, great. They gain 10 influence as well. Fuck. That's fine. I wouldn't worry that's about it. 82.9. That's okay. They're, okay, so if they're above 80, that's bad. But if yeah. they're below 85, that means they only take up at 1% per month. So that means you have 100 months. Right. You, you have tons of time. Something's going to happen in the next 100 months to make them not fire. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, do you want to demand your money from the burgers right now? Uh, probably. Let's go take a look at the... Can we do that interaction? Yes, 300 ducats. Yeah, I do want that. Lose 10 loyalty, it puts them at 42, that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll probably hold on to those funds until the end of the war, but most likely you're going to want to earmark those for shipyards or temples, workshops, some sort of building. So 1k troop in the, in the water over there. The, you go. the army that you saw in Oldenburg, by the way, is peasants. It's not even Oldenburg's army. I think Oldenburg's army got stack wiped by peasants. That's, that's good. <laughs> it's hilarious is what it is. Okay. Uh, if you really wanted to, we could actually use the transports to begin the siege of Lubick, but I think it's still probably safer to just sort yeah. of slowly just siege stuff down. their stuff. Getting sweet, sweet gold income. Ah, man. It's minus 30. Can we just get some wall breaches already? Yep. Unfortunately, the... Uh, Siege hasn't gone so well. We've been here for 170 days and we only have two siege status. We've rolled pretty poorly. It's a coastal level 3 fort, so it's just difficult to actually make progress on, you know? But yeah. th it'll fall eventually. Okay. Meanwhile, our navy is back to protecting trade, so we're making good money while we're at war. We're making eight ducats a month, roughly, while we wage war, which is fantastic, considering we're at full maintenance. Birth of colonialism. Okay, cool. So the next, uh, next institution has spread, or begun. Okay. So... Looks like the origin is Alentejo, southwest coast of Spain. Okay. Technology costs 1% per year, up to most 50%. So we're going to have to choose through these types of, uh, uh, what do you call them? Institutions. Every, institutions. 50, every 50 years, a new institution will, will spawn in the world. And if you don't embrace it, your tech costs go up. So we're going to okay. want to try to, uh, to get colonialism. If you click on any province in our country right now and then hover, like turn on the colonial, the institution map mode or the institution like pop out with the N key, that little button on the right hand mm -hmm. side. Yeah, I can click on colonialism and see that. Hover over the 0.00, .00 you can see nearby friendly province. That's not going to happen. Port slash capital of country with a new world colonial nation. That could happen if we take colonial ideas. And then the other thing is port neighboring province with colonialism. So there's really no way we can get this to spread to us unless it just spreads via ports. Which it will. Okay. So we, it'll actually spread to us pretty quickly because we we're only a few pro few countries away from the spawn location of Portugal. Very very historic, very common for Portugal or Castile or France or you know somebody in that area to spawn it. Here. You now have too many troops here. I'm gonna pull one off for you. What do we do? Re re reinforce? No, we just re yeah we reinforced beyond the amount that you actually needed. Okay. Are you? Keeping track of loot to make sure yeah. you... Uh, yeah. I am. Nice. I am. Yeah. I, I watched the loot screen religiously. Did you know that there was a, a developer diary? They are actually going to be revamping the loot system in the next patch with a new system called Devastation. Provinces mm -hmm. are going to have a, a value similar to the loot bar, which is uh, more of a temporary effect. There's now going to be another bar called the Devastation Meter or Devastation Bar. It's so, going to go down the longer you're looting? Well, like, the more, the more frequently a province gets looted, it's going to add to province devastation. And mm -hmm. devastated provinces suck a lot. And they have, like, low low production and high unrest and there's it's lots terrible. of bad things. We should do as much looting as we can before that. Yes, I agree. So basically, it's, it's supposed to sort of symbolize, like, land that gets frequently turned around in war is, is not going to be very good land. I can't believe France is losing their war against England. We trounced England on our own. And, England, and France is just... In the bucket. Okay. Good, though. We don't want them gaining land, so if England takes some of French, the French land, so. <laughs> that's that's awesome for us because then we take it from England. <laughs> yep. All right, we've made some pretty good progress. We had a disease outbreak, though, unfortunately, but we're at zero percent progress, zero percent chance now. Okay. Yeah, it's weird to think of zero percent as being good. <laughs> I guess it's a per month modifier. So like, yeah. A couple more progress here. 
Yeah, we're basically like at least one or two ticks away from actually having a chance to win the siege, is the way I look at it. Yeah. Plus, the higher up you are, the better the chances are for the next. Wow, he's renewed war taxes. That's a third time. So for the last six years, he's been doing that. That's 150 military points he spent on war taxes. Yep. Good. Hopefully he falls behind on military tax so we can kick his butt. Hey, Methians are still at 70%. Thank you, Methians, for not rebelling on us while we're at war. Appreciate it. Yep, we're busy. Do 21% chance now, nice. We can go back up to speed 3 if, if nothing else is going to go on in this yeah. war, can't we? Be nice. That'd be nice having a simple war. Yeah, I think, for the most part, we're just going to finish this siege, then we're going to march down, we're going to siege down Lubick, and then we're going to march over, and we're going to siege down Pomerania's capital, and then we're done. There's really not much else to it. Okay. And hopefully it goes fast, so that we don't have to deal with these rebels. There's a lot of rebels, wow. 40, 40, 50, 20, 70, 10. Yeah, 40. I'm a little worried about that too. I've been watching that. Uh, by the way, I haven't checked on this in a while. How are we looking with Bohemia? Bohemia still looked. has no air. Wow. He's 50 now. I sure hope um, that this actually plays. There's a 6k stack over on the mainland. I don't want 6k army to like land on our our island. To just keep an eye Six, on 6k where? 8k stack. Oh, these are peasants again. Okay, peasants, peasants don't care about but there us. There was 6k in like. Gel gallery. Okay, probably the Pomeranian army. Yeah, so just be aware. Might have to pull some ships over and kill that. Oh, wow. What is this? Okay. What? <laughs> so this is just kind of funny. The uh, the the army that is currently sieging down Oldenburg is not large enough to maintain the siege. They have eight thousand one hundred troops. They've been here. They've been there for four hundred twenty four days, and they can't even try to make progress because they don't have enough men. <laughs> they're just they're just standing there. That's funny. So we're four opinion away from finishing our mission. This is where gets tricky. Yeah. So our choices are: wait for the January the steel, tick. Right? Yeah, it looks like in January we'll get the mission, just because aggressive expansion and was at war will go away. Right. Well, we we got to take a break here though. So yeah. See you guys soon. See you in a bit.